a shalom 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 first and foremost i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth risking their lives laboring in this vine in these last days shalom it's the brother Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp and I'm here with a quick one. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to connect connect with the last lesson I did, okay? So I'll start by reading from the book of Romans 15:5 which quotes now no 15:4, excuse me. Which quotes for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope okay for whatsoever things that were written at four times were written for our learning so everything you know the last video i was speaking of how the the sons of israel instead of spending 40 days in the wilderness they went through 40 years and many of them didn't get to see the promised land because they disobeyed the most Shai. and we know through the scriptures we can read from the book of um, daniel 12 1 it tells you about a time that is coming and we all can see already that this time is already at its beginning okay like over here in italy from the 15th of next month if you don't have the vanessa jews aka the serpent serum okay you can't go to work you'll be fired without any any pay okay so this is actually the times we're going into because you know esau is actually pushing strong wanting you to bow to his image wanting you to to bow to his laws wanting you to to take the marcos you know which is the next step that is coming and we know that all those who take this serpent serum they are definitely going to take the marcos and we know that this serpent serum has nothing good to offer us but debt and we know that the scripture tells us that whosoever would love to save his life shall lose it but he who shall lose his life for the case of Yahweh Shai shall gain it a hundredfold just paraphrasing okay so these things that were written aforetime these stories of our forefathers are actually stories to help us go through this time we're going to into very soon which our forefathers are actually us okay so we wouldn't want to you know fall into the same errors that we that we went through the last time you know in the wilderness so we want to we want to want to be guided by the spirit this time around say the most High is going to save only those who have a high dose of trust and believe in him okay so now let's go back to the book of deuteronomy and thanks to so the brother from the GMS Italia camp, Yahawada, you know, gave me some precepts regarding this lesson we were actually discussing and he came up with this precept and I decided to make a video on it. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8. And I'm going to start from verse 1. It quotes, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai swear unto your fathers. Okay, so these commandments, laws and statutes have been ordained right from the beginning. We are also told through the commandments not to make any cuttings in our flesh, which Esau is pushing for you to cut in through your flesh and get injected with this serpent serum. Verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai, thy power, led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee, to know that, to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldst keep these commandments or not. This is the same thing that is going now. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to test us to know what's really in our heart. The Most High is going to test each one of us, man. 
the most high is not a man that you can you can you can play around with man it's going to test each one of us because it's easy to say i'm in the truth it's easy to say i know the scriptures it's easy to say i obey the commandments but what about the test are you going to are you going to pass the test or are you going to fail the test like many of the house of um Korah that failed the test and many others that failed the test and what happened to them the the most high took their lives and they didn't get the chance to see the the promised land they had to come back again and that's the same thing that is going to happen to all those israelites that don't that don't hearken to the words of the most high yahabah shemi al shai the most high is going to take their lives destroy them alongside with the wicked and they will come back in the kingdom okay so bear in mind that this is a big test that the most high is about to test the whole world man the most high is going to see are you willing to to give up your house are you willing to give up your job are you willing to lose whatever for me for this kingdom are you still attached to these things is there any string holding you down to this place so the most high is going to definitely ask all these questions from you by testing you man and that was exactly what he did to the israelites when they were in the wilderness And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shem Yahushai doth man live. And this is the same word Yahweh Shai quoted from, okay? So the most high actually is going to make you go through suffering and hungering you know it's going to humble you man it's going to humble each one of us there is a time that is coming in which if you decide not to take this serpent serum which is going to lead to the mark of the beast you wouldn't be able to go into the grocery stores and get your necessities you know these are the sufferings man these are the tests what are you going to do are you going to start complaining are you going to start you know going crazy like many did to moses and what happened the most i took their life away man are you going to grumble or are you going to trust in the most i and believe in the process man this is a process this is a journey this is a marathon okay you need to spare yourself some strength for the later time to come you know and that strength is your faith man it needs to be very strong and unmovable you need to believe in the most high yahweh hashem yahushai even in the hardest of time when you would have nothing to eat neither to drink you need to believe the most high yahweh hashem yahushai is going to provide for you man you don't need any string attached you know tying you down to this kingdom man the kingdom that is coming is what's up the kingdom that is coming is what you should you should you should be you should you should you should be hoping to go get into man that's that promised land man thy raiment waxed not hold upon thee neither did thy foot swell these 40 years okay they were in the wilderness 40 years but their their raiment their clothes didn't get old upon them okay they didn't have any swellings in their feet man that's the most high showing you that he is going to protect you man everything you need at the right time that you need it is going to get it for you but first he is going to test you verse 5 thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son so thy power yahweh shem yahushai chasteneth thee so as the as a, as a father chasteneth his son that's how the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to chasten every one of us, man. So bear in mind, this test is coming and it's definitely going to come. So it's now left to each one of us to play our part. The most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai is there. He's ready to help and save us, you know. He would never leave us. At that moment when we would need him, it's going to be there for us man we're going to go through this wilderness you know 
in peace in the sense that we're going to be victorious at the end the roads might be rough okay but we're going to be victorious at the end the most high yabba shem yahushai would never leave you man so a be courageous okay be ready for what's about to come you know they say therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of yahweh shem yahushai to walk in his ways and to fear him so when you start getting scared oh i'm going to lose my job how am i going to feed how am i going to do this how am i going to do that Man, you're not walking in the ways of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The Most High needs men, you know, people who are strong spiritually. People who are really men, man. People who are determined, not people who say what they don't do. Not people who make vows and they can't comp- accomplish their vows, man. So the test is coming. Watch out. I actually wanted to go a little more into a different story but i believe i should just keep this lesson short like this i'll be doing this series it's going to be a series of uh, you know encouragement to the archams and to the few aquats who are watching you know for the times we're about to get into so a hey, put your whole trust in the most high yahweh bashem yahushai is going to see you true so having said this i hope this lesson was edifying i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem buruka kudash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth which is the hundred percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth shalom